Well, that was an exhausting walk. I walked through. Well, you were with me when I went up to see the the um, Horseshoe Island Grass Hut. And then you saw the stream between the stream and the moat. And I didn't walk that way, I came back. I walked all the way around and saw the, you saw the waterfall, right? And Iceberg Pond. And then there was a big hole for the beavers, but I really needed both of my sticks so I couldn't film. I needed a GoPro on my head. Anyway, so I, I went then around um, to the road and came down the highway. And I discovered that the archway to the foyer and the foyer have collapsed. Shouldn't have put a roof on the foyer and the snow could have gone through. Oh well, my big teepee is still just as it is. Perfect, just perfect in every way. Looks like the flag needs to be untangled again. Looks like it has lost part of this flag onto the other side. And thank goodness I have the swing and the roof wasn't tied tightly and so it was able to tip and plummet all the snow off. It was a good thing. And, uh, and now I have no energy left. With refrozen snow, you step on it with your weight and then you fall. You only fall a few inches, but with every foot, somehow it's not really conducive to a happy pain-free body but anything can be solved with a bit of rest right oh and i did find out i looked it up online salt does cause inflammation in the joints so now the, and i was interesting because all these things i've given up to get rid of the inflammation were on that website so salt and sugar and gluten it didn't mention rice. Rice doesn't really cause me problems in the joints. It's more in the bones. <sighs> anyway, so I'm off of those things. I had this avocado I told you about, right? It was, it was about that big around on the bottom, just the bottom. It was enormous. It wouldn't fit into those little to-go boxes. And I was, I put salt on around the edge of it, the opened edge, so it wouldn't turn black. And that worked. It was good. I should have actually dipped it into the ocean because the salt water would have been perfect to keep it from turning. Anyway, so I have the seed. I'm going to give the seed to my daughter. She can grow anything. I wonder what kind of an avocado tree she'll grow with that big, huge seed. She is really good at all this growing stuff. I wonder if any of her outdoor gardens are still growing now. She's got them under two layers, you know, like a blanket on top, or sheets on top, and then a greenhouse above that. Perhaps she'll put a third greenhouse over everything this year. That would be good, then it would really help. I should try doing that. I have my garden beds I could do the same thing with. So there's some traffic now as it is the day after the new trip around the sun begins. It's really weird to have missed the whole holiday. And the children have made a wreck of the house as usual. But some of it's tidied up. They used my alpaca spun wool to, t to make a um, spider web all over the house. Willem tried painstakingly to unro unwrap it without damaging my wool. What a sweetheart. I would have just cut through the whole thing in the middle. But maybe I wouldn't have, you know. But you can probably just lay it side by side when you're knitting. I carry on. Carry on, carry on, carry on. It's beautiful out here. I love snow, especially with the sun on it. It's not very deep at all. Not only <laughs> did I miss the blizzard and the bitter cold, but I missed the thawing of it. And so all the snow is pretty well gone. It's just about 
was less than what it was when I left. Unbelievable. Lord's tender mercies, eh? But I love blizzards, so it's, it would have been okay. So I have somebody I want you to pray for. And I'm not going to tell you anything about the condition, just that she needs a miracle. So please pray for a miracle for Mary, okay? Thank you. Let's have a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for blessing us that we got home safely. And all those who are taking this armchair vacation with me to Maui, bless them that they might have a beautiful break from regular life and be able to virtually have this wonderful holiday and see all these beautiful things and places. And thank you for the places that we have and for what we can create out of them, to grow flowers in the desert and to make everything that we have beautiful, whether it's by our smile or by adding bushes and plants and flowers or whatever it can be. And bless us all that this new year, which we have heard many terrible things about, that we may have joy as we're close to thee. Bless us that we can love those who hate us and love those who are mean to us and love those who are mean to one another. And bless us with forgiveness in our hearts. Help us that our families might be united. And, and please watch over us all that we will have the help that we need to survive the days that come. Bless us that we might be close to thee, that we might learn how we hear thee so that we might know how to get answers to our questions and to know truth instead of this is telling us one thing and that is telling us another. And there's all these theories and all these supposed facts and the real facts. And bless us that we might know the difference between truth and error. And that we might be close to thee and led by thee at all times. Help us to read thy words. Help us to talk to thee. And thank you so much for all the many blessings that thou gives us, that we have the ability to breathe. We have the ability to eat and to go to the bathroom and to walk and to pick up things and move things with our fingers. And please help us to, to get rid of the things in our lives that keep us from having this mobility to be able to drop away the sugar and the wheat and the salt if they are causing us pain or perhaps the dairy and the rice please help me to be stronger and to actually not have sugar in anything anymore and thank you so much for the blessings of so many things in our lives and please bless all those that transport things to us that they might be able to continue to do that and that if they can't that we will have already prepared ourselves and be able to create our own food and grow our own food, even if it's just sunflower seeds on a paper towel, that we might have sprouts, something to eat that's green. And that we might not be, that we might not be at the mercy of those who would make money off of us. And thank you so much for helping me to use the materials around me to be able to produce things like a shelter 